What is up you guys, this is Spidey1997 and today we're finally going to be taking a look at the new Transformers War for Cybertron trilogy. You have the new Siege line, Have you, we finally have a Voyager class Optimus Prime and to be honest you guys this is probably one of my favorite ones from this uh, Voyager uh, line, or not a line but it's uh, a Voyager class of course but this is probably my favorite Optimus Prime figure from this line uh, I will say. Uh, very very classic. Uh, the truck doesn't look too classic. Uh, I will a little have a little gripe with the truck mode, but the robot mode looks gorgeous. I really love the way that uh, Optimus looks in robot mode. So, before we talk about the figure, let's take a quick look at the packaging like we always do. Here is Siege War for Cybertron. You have trilogy, of course. Transformers. <clears throat> nice picture of Optimus Prime with his gun. Uh, same picture for everything. Uh, you have a nice prototype of the figure with his gun and his axe truck mode of course um looks more cybertronian than earth mode but very nice and nothing at the bottom top autobot symbol and that's basically it for packaging wise so the figure itself uh the only accessory he comes with of course is his uh iconic blaster and a i guess shield and slash axe so let's take a quick look at the shield and axe um for you can make him look like he's holding a shield in robot mode if you want but uh you know i just prefer it to be an axe but very nice detail very nice silver paint got the autobot logo right there which is just painted black i think it's paint but it's just painted black would have been nice if they gave him more detail the red maybe uh, i would have preferred the autobot logo red but anyways you can fold this out it will lock in place like that and then you bring this piece like that and then bring this one outward and then now uh, you have it battle axe which is pretty nice i will say just plain black on the back but the, the front looks you know nice with some silver paint and of course the handle when he gets in robot mode um of course the blaster uh very simple uh black plastic with some hollow uh, parts in the blaster which kind of sucks but you know whatever it still looks nice for what it is so I do like that and of course you can store the uh, the shield if you want you can fold that in if, of course so there you go you can store that or you can store the gun and then store the shield on top like that so, you know, you have options, so that's nice. So, vehicle mode-wise, I am kind of a little bit iffy about it. Uh, the vehicle mode looks kind of weird, to be honest. Um, I know some people might like it, but to be honest, I'm not really feeling this uh, truck mode. Um, I know it's supposed to be War for Cybertron, and it looks, I guess and, uh, they're look, getting to, uh, I'm guessing they're getting that look for the Cybertronian look for their vehicle modes. But uh, I don't know, man. It's just, I'm not digging this vehicle mode. Uh, I'm not saying it's bad, it's just not my uh, favorite um, mold for Optimus, but still, for what it is, I still like it the way it looks. So, uh, you can see the pipe has some, the smokestacks right here have uh, pegs right here, so you can peg the gun. Got some pegs right there, you got some um, battle damage on, I guess, the shoulders. Silver paint right here, the rims are hidden by these blue panels right here. You got the vents, silver paint on the windows. Translucent blue plastic on the windshields, of course, on the top, and the same here in the grill. Just gray plastic for the bumper. Uh, uh, these don't really look like headlights. These look like kind of like Gatling guns or something, but still look very nice. Here's the bottom if you want to look at the bottom. So there's the bottom. Here's the the uh, battle damage uh, scuff for the, but I'll show more in the robot mode. But other than that, I, uh, very simple vehicle mode, but I still like the way it looks. Um, not my favorite, but. I still like it. Um, I just don't like this part right here on the roof of the truck. Um, that looks kind of weird. Um, but like I said, it, for what it, for what it is, I still um, and I dropped the figure. Um, but uh, for what it is, I still like the way it looks. So yeah, the rims are just painted silver, which is nice. So yeah, here's the back, the top. There you go. So. Robo mode wise, um, he's not very complicated, but uh, I will say this: when I first bought him, um, he was kind of difficult for me. Um, I don't know why, but uh, a lot of people say this is the easiest transformation. But to me, um, I don't know. It's kind—it's not difficult. It's just um, 
I don't really look at the instructions because instructions don't really help. So I try to guess where the pieces go. But and then after that, I just look for uh, reviews on the figures and see the transformation. But still for so, yeah. So to start transforming this guy, first you want to do is you bring these wheels down right here. Like so. And then you unpeg that. That tab will go in that right so. Just untab that like that. Bring the legs down. And then next thing you do is you just want to untab this part right here. You can see there's a hole right there and the tab right here. And then what you want to do is you just want to open these window or windshields like that. And then bring your nails right here. Bring this out. Same thing on the other side. And then you just want to bring all this out like that. And then what you want to do is you want to fold this piece down like that. You can see there's a peg right there. We'll go in that hole right there. Just tab that in like that and you just fold that piece down next up uh, what you want to do is you just want to come up here and untab this piece like that bring that down rotate this like that against the forearm and then fold this piece down on the uh, forearms same thing on the other side just bring this out rotate that bring that down and then for the wheels just bring this up and then bring all this piece like that and just bring it down and like that hopefully you guys saw that if not I do apologize but uh, the wheels are a little bit tricky for me at least I don't know why but uh, what you want to do is there's like double hinges so you just want to bring this piece in and then bring that in like that same thing on the other side just bring that in and then tab it in like that Okay, next up, bring the head out, and the head is not coming out. I don't know why, but let's see. The head is not coming out, which is weird. Okay, so maybe, is it the wheels maybe? Let's see. Yeah, it's the wheels. Sorry about that. Uh, but there you go. See? Another mistake. But anyways, you just bring the wheels back in there. Like that. Just tab it in. Bring this window piece in. Like that. And then for the legs, just untab this. And then what you want to do is you come up here and bring this piece like that. Bring this piece. Rotate it that way. Rotate the knee part where the knee is of course rotate it right there bring this down bring that piece down for the knee cap and then what you want to do is you just want to bring this gray plastic piece right here fold that back of the leg and then you can see there's a tab right there that's going to go in that hole right there so just bring that in and tab that in same thing on the other side just tab that in if I can get there you go and then bring that down basically you're done with the legs and then of course you fold the toes out bring the heels out same thing on the other leg bring that out there you go and then you just want to rotate that part piece you can see there's two tabs right there that are gonna go in that hole right between that right there I don't know if you can see that but you can see there's holes right there and just bring that in and then what you want to do is just bring that out, tab that in, it should stay there. And then bring this piece down, and the camera's not focused. Bring that piece down, and there you go. And there you have Optimus Prime, Siege Optimus Prime in robot mode. And like I said, man, this is just a gorgeous looking robot mode, in my honest opinion. Um, This is just great looking. I really like the way this guy looks. Uh, very classic looking very looks like the 80s. I really do recommend this guy. Um, let me just put the gun right here And bring this Of course you can put that as a shield, but like I said, I do prefer him holding it like an axe So just bring that And you can I'll make him hold it like that very very cool looking I will say um, my only complaint in robot mode, I will say, is um, the kibble on the 
forearms are a little bit annoying um, especially here this ro this rotation piece right here is a little loose on my copy of the figure which kind of sucks because every time I play with his arm this thing likes to either pop out or something but well, I would kind of wish it tapped in somewhere but whatever and of course when you bring that out this piece goes out which kind of sucks but you know I guess if they did it for you can get more articulation with the shoulders I mean the uh, arms but our anyways articulation wise his head is on a ball joint, I guess. Um, can look up a little bit, but this piece moves up. Can move down. Can move side to side. Has a little bit of a head pivot. Arms can go all the way around. He does, of course, can go out that far. He does have a bicep swivel. He does have a, I would say, like a 90 degree bend at the elbow, which is pretty decent, I will say. He does have a wrist swivel, which is nice. I really like that. He also does have a waist swivel, which is also very nice. Legs can go out that far, can go back real far, which is nice. Can kick this far out, so he can basically do the split. He does have a kind of a thigh swivel, but he does have a swivel at the knee as well. His knee can bend that much, I guess double jointed knees. And of course, his feet can go not so much up and down, but they can move because of transformation. And of course, he does have that beautiful angle pivot. So there you go. That is the articulation for Optimus Prime. Like I said, guys, very cool looking uh, figure in my opinion. Let me, before I do, let me quick take a look at the head sculpt. Uh, a quick look at the head sculpt. I, should, I mixed that up the other way around. But anyways, the face just looks gorgeous. The face mask right here is really good and silver paint, blue eyes, which is nice. He got some silver on the crest of his head. Would have been nice if they added some silver right here inside the ears um, and a little bit of here. Well, usually we have like vents for your hair, but it's all right. Got some yellow paint for the uh, lights on the top. Silver paint, of course. Autobot logo, which is nice. And you can see he has that battle damage look that every Siege figures are going for. And another thing I forgot to show on my, um, my, um, what, what character was that? Uh, Sky Tread was, uh, he does also have a... He doesn't really have a lot of, of battle damage, which is kind of weird because I thought they were gonna all going to have it. He does have some right here on the tank mode, but uh, you can barely see it in robot mode, which is kind of weird. But just wanted to give you that uh, update because I totally forgot about that demonstrating on the review for that uh, Skytread figure. But still, very nice. You got some yellow paint for the, uh, I guess, the um, waist piece right here. Here's the side profile if you want to see that. The wheels, are, of course, are hidden. Here's the back if you want to see that. And there you go. And let me give you a quick comparison with the rest of the Autobot itself. So um, let me just, I'm not going to make him hold the act, but here he is with Hound. So there's Hound. And of course, last but not least, Sideswipe. So these are the only Autobot uh, characters that I have in my collection. So far, I am digging all of these guys. Very, very uh, pleased to have the uh, pleased or stoked to have these guys in my collection. Um, so I really appreciate Hasbro for doing this. I really like the fact that they're doing a, a G1 bird, not really G1, but a, a more modern take on the G1 character. So I really do appreciate that. So these look great together. So I cannot wait to display them, and also I cannot wait to get the new figures. Um, I think they're making Ironhide. Um, I did see Shockwave and Ultra Magnus. Um, to be honest, they're a little pricey in my opinion, but I think at some point I'm, st I'm still going to get them. But yeah. Uh, oh, before I forget, let me give you a quick size comparison with his arch nemesis, of course. And here he is with Megatron. And they look great together. I love this. This is just really gorgeous. I really like the way these two look together. They look like they would get in a fight. Optimus is a little, mm, I would say they're about the same height, maybe, if you count the antennas on the uh, on Optimus' head, but very nice. So overall, guys, if you guys haven't known yet, I would say pick this guy up. You will not regret it. Uh, this is just a great representation of Optimus Prime in the 80s look. So I really like it. Uh, they are already in retail, so if you guys find them at Target, Warmer, um go ahead and pick these guys up it's a little bit pricey i would think it's like 30 dollars if i'm not mistaken but 
Still, if you guys are a big Optimus Prime fan, this is the one to get. So that is all I have to say, guys. So please comment, subscribe. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you really enjoyed this video. And this is Spidey1997 signing out and have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys.